Hi guys, so today we are doing another basics video for perfect vegan waffles. They're easy to make and so delicious. So to start off, you're going to need flour. I used a mixture of whole wheat flour and regular flour, some almond milk or any kind of plant milk that you like, some vegan butter, I use the one from Earth Balance, some coconut sugar or any type of sugar that you like, some baking powder, and a little bit of vanilla extract. So the first thing we're going to do is take our vegan butter and the coconut sugar and cream them together. And I like to do that with the back of a spoon and it helps if your vegan butter is slightly softened. That way it just mixes up a little bit better. And we're just gonna work the butter into the sugar until we get something that resembles sort of this paste kind of thing. Then we are going to add in our almond milk the vanilla extract and look how pretty this is like the swirls underneath look so cool and some of our flour i like to do it kind of in halves it just makes mixing it up easier and then finally we're going to add in our baking powder and it was a little bit stuck in there <laughs> so we're going to add that in and then we're just going to start mixing it all up there really is no science for mixing it up obviously just mix it up and then I like to add the second round of flour in after I've mixed it up a little bit, try to get some of the clumps out. So I'm adding the rest of the flour in there. So I felt like it was getting a little bit too thick. So I just added in another little bit of almond milk just to make it a little bit thinner, but we are looking for a really thick batter. I find that the thicker the batter, the better the waffle comes out. It just comes out, I don't know, like chewier and denser. So something that looks like this, it's runny, like you can plop it off the spoon, but it's still really thick. That's what we're going for. Then we're just going to put in about a quarter cup of batter. I'm using a mini waffle iron just because I think it's so cute and adorable. But if you have a regular waffle iron, use that, of course. So I put it in there and then you'll see the steam is coming off and that's how you know the waffle is cooking. And then once the steam kind of stops coming out is how you know the waffle is done. So you just have to watch your steam. And just pull the top up and there is our perfect little waffle all done to take out and if you try to pull the top up and it doesn't come off right away let it sit because you may need to cook the waffle for a little bit longer then and if you do take the top up and your waffle isn't done don't worry just put it back down and it kind of reassembles itself in the cooking process And that's it, now it is time to style our waffles. So I took three waffles and I like them in this kind of, not exactly a perfect circle shape. You know, I like the edges to be like that little detail. And then I'm spooning some coconut yogurt on there and I cut up some strawberries and I put some blueberries on there, just more coconut yogurt. You know, I just kind of was styling it, however. And you can use anything you want. This waffle batter is perfect it's a very plain very generic so you can add any flavoring that you like to it. you can add any toppings that you like to it um you can just spice it up however you like and then of course you have to add maple syrup to your waffles so that's it and i also add a little shredded coconut on top just for the picture and yeah those are our waffles i did a little cut action for you they were pretty soggy at this point because i had taken all my pictures and they were soaked in maple syrup but they are still really good then here's the inside of it you can see it's really nice and fluffy but the outside is very crisp and i tried to grab a strawberry but it didn't work <laughs> and yeah these are our waffles i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys try them out as always the full recipe will be on my blog down below thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys on wednesday with my next video